Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Are we back? Are we back? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys very much for joining today. It is an exciting day. this stuff like my levels are all crazy today it's been a minute as i said in the discord last night um i'm definitely gonna have some technical difficulties today um guaranteed i have not streamed in a very long time uh i moved some things around in the studio turned on some lights um so looks a little different it's a little different for me um so far so good though um so it's been uh a hundred and a hundred and a billion years um i don't know when was the last time i i was on the stream when was the last time i feel like it was like um earlier this year when we put out the meteora um Lincoln Park Meteora 20th anniversary box set, and um, I had in my head out with Scream, what was it, six? Um, so it's, we're overdue. Thanks for joining, glad you could be here. Um, for those of you who haven't ever checked out the channel, I, I was streaming a lot in 2020. I, I was doing like a bunch of um, uh, making music on stream, and um, actually the songs you're hearing right now are things that I made uh, here on Twitch. So um, that's a thing. You can go back and watch those if you want. Uh, if you can, mods, please put the, um, the link to the YouTube channel where we archived um, most of those streams. I'll go ahead and throw the link in the, in the chat there for people that join to check those out. Um, 
So the reason I'm on is I have a new song. It is uh, out now. It's called Already Over. Um, I'm very excited about it. The um, It was kind of like one of those things where I, I was making stuff with other people and I kind of missed making stuff on my own, like making stuff for myself. I realized I've done so many songs uh, in the last few years, you know, written and produced for other people, but also the stuff that I put out always had a feature or a couple features on it. And I was like, oh, I should put out, a, I should do a song with like just me on it. And um, Already Over is uh, kind of already over. I didn't intend it to be just that, but that's what it was. And um, so, yeah, that's what I, that's that's a thing. Um, today, I think we can, I, you, you can ask some questions. I'll do my best to answer. Um, I'm also gonna go through some of the guitar. I have the tracks pulled up um, right now. Actually, this is like, I, I'm gonna be honest. These tracks that I have pulled up in Ableton, I actually did the song in Pro Tools. So uh, this isn't the actual session. These are bounces of the mixed version of the song. So um, we'll do some of that. And um, we'll go through some of the tracks just so you can hear some things. I, I do want to play the, um, I'll play the guitar parts for you guys because I had a bunch of requests um, to, to go through some of the guitar and um, you know, for those of you who play guitar, just to check it out. Um, am I sick? I'm a little, it's, okay. So I'm a little stuffy today. <laughs> um, here's why. Um, my wife and I went out the other night and um, God, I don't remember where we were. We weren't far. Um, and one of our kids uh, decided to make some popcorn, like a microwave popcorn in the um in the in the microwave of course and then like asked us is this okay and we were like yeah of course just like follow the instructions and whatever and um then my wife also said oh by the way make sure the dogs go out to pee they've been in the you know inside all, a lot all day and they need to like they need to go pee so you know set the time set the minutes on the on the microwave and then takes the dogs out to pee and then comes back in and it is like it obviously the popcorn is burnt and um basically like opened the um opened the microwave and smoke came out now luckily the like smoke detector and the fire like the fire department didn't get called but smoke comes out and this kid doesn't know like just shut it and like I mean it was like smoke came out grabs the popcorn pulls it out and opens it cuz he's curious and it was like lava rock black like we came home and saw what was going on in this bag of popcorn. I didn't know popcorn could burn this black. It was, I mean, it was, um, you know how the bag, the bag will fill up like this. It was like maybe a half an inch thick of ash at the bottom of it. And there's no, nothing else in the bag. The bag itself is charred. Like it, I think he had put it in for five minutes if you can imagine what a microwave does to popcorn in five minutes. Um, so luckily the dogs didn't pee in the house, but the whole house has reeked of like burnt popcorn smell um, for a few days now. The microwave itself is sitting outside and we've had to do like, you know, wash down like the whole area and like try our best to like de Toxify the the thing. What is this track that we're listening to? I don't even remember making this. This was a January 2022. This was we were trying to do. I was I was challenged by the chat to do Tame Impala meets John Bellion meets 
Lincoln Park living things. Okay. Apparently that was the attempt. I don't think it sounds like any of those things, but it sounds interesting. We made so many songs on this channel, I don't even know, like, I don't remember any of them. I remember, like, maybe, like, a, maybe a quarter of them. Um, all right. So, what's going on, chat? You guys got some questions? You guys got some things you're curious about? Tell me about it. What is happening? My hair is get. I just realized my hair is really getting too long. I need to shave my head again soon. I had, okay, so it, some of you have seen from the um, photos from this this release, this already over release, I'd shave these lines and well, I didn't shave them. Like I had a barber shave these lines into my head and I love them, but I would have to get my head redone like every five to seven days. And that, that got old really fast. So I couldn't do it. I couldn't keep up with it. I couldn't keep up with it. Um, all right, some questions. Uh, ben Jim 2006 says, what's your favorite synth? Um, I love my Nord, uh, which is sitting behind me here. Um, can I, do I still know how to do this? Look at that. So this guy right here, that, that, um, red keyboard is a Nord. I actually have a stage two, but they have a, they have other, they have stage, they're probably up to like stage 10 by now. Um, yeah, mine's a stage two, stage three is cool. Uh, I also play, what else do I have? I have a virus, access virus, and uh, uh, OP1 are great, love those. Um, the star of the moment though, is not a uh, keyboard. The star of the moment is actually this guitar, which I have out right now. Um, so this, this Fender Strat is my, um, so I've been, I think I got this around like, maybe you guys, some of you, I, I know you guys are so like people, people in the, you know, fan sites and stuff are so good about no, knowing little details like this. I think I got this guitar around 2004 or five. Um, maybe I, maybe I'm imagining that, but I think it was around that time. And I wrote, you know, what I've done on this guitar. It's, it's anytime you've heard a Strat on the records, it's either been this one or Brad's, um, these are both custom shop Strats. So from, from Fender, it was one of those two uh, Stratocasters. Um, and this, this was what I was on this new song. I was like sitting right here in the studio um, on, let me see if you can see the little chair. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, it's kind of behind. It's kind of, it's over there. Um, so I was just hang, sitting, sitting there, just like screwing around. And I, I started playing, um, let me see if I, what do we got here? I'm gonna turn this off. I gotta turn on this guitar track here. Let's see. If I, oh yeah, we are live, aren't we? Um, oh shit, I gotta change settings though, hold on. So, um, oh, we got some, some line noise. Um, so it was like, I, I was like, originally, I was, when I was writing the song, it was more like, um, it, it wasn't like the, the thing you hear on the, on the, on the song. Oh, just, just for context, maybe it's good for me to like actually play, um, play the song. So, uh, hang on one second. Let me see if I can grab it real quick. So this song. I know, DMCA incoming, right, exactly. So, this is the song, give you a little sense of it. I'm gonna jump, I'm gonna jump ahead to chorus. Okay, so, this is, that's where it ended up. Um, but in the beginning, it was just, I think it was really just like, 
this guitar with with like so it was kind of like just a little like punk rock riff um kind of like even like n late 90s grunge meets i don't know what and i wrote the chorus first um i may have even written it like it may have been down there and then once i sang it a few times i was like oh it needs to go like all the way up here um yeah, like I think the vibes were like bad religion and offspring and maybe maybe there's some like I don't know what else, like blink or like or um yeah, stuff of that era. It was like lag wagon or I don't know, like stuff in that era. And um I ended up yeah, I ended up like like I think I did the chorus first and then I did the then I did the verse and then I did the pre-chorus. Um the the thing about it is I, as I was making the song, I kept, um, when I started to record it, I started to put stuff in the computer. And again, these aren't the, this isn't the Pro Tools session, but um, I started to put stuff in the computer and I would play with like taking stuff out and replacing it with things. So I actually like replaced this, the guitar with keyboard or I replaced it with something else or a different type of guitar and blah, blah, blah. And every time I did that, it got worse. So it ended up being like, I think I started with something like this, which is in there, which is actually in the song. But I, but I added, eventually added a bunch of other, like, I don't, my drums are all like all over the place at this point. Cause I got, like I said, I imported these from like, um, the Pro Tools session. So they're not like in order. Uh, I know these are the kicks. This is a kick. This is a snare. Um, let me see if I can find the overheads here. You guys are gonna see it on the screen and be like, Mike, it's right there. OH hat, OH hat room. Um, oh, one thing that I did on this one that was um, was interesting was that I, I, re I remembered I tracked I think I tracked the drums, um, playing it all at once. There you go. All right. So. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. So that was kind of where it started to go. And then I, and then one thing that I did that I, I, I loved actually, oh, you know what? I can kind of, I guess I don't have like a close up angle to show you of this, but I have on my pedal board here, I have a, I have a, a, a hog. It's called the hog, the harmonic, what's it called? Harmonic octave generator, but check this thing out. On, let me get a different sound here. Okay, so like a little more distort, a little more uh, like, I think this is like an orange, this is these, these are modelers here. Um, so it's like not an actual guitar cabinet in the other room, it's digital. Um, so this is more of like an orange amp plus like a, like a Mesa Boogie, like dual rectifier uh, for those of you who care. But check this out real quick. So this sound got, I was like very excited about this sound. So all of a sudden that like changed the game for the song. So that's what you really hear. So that is 
I loved that. And I put, I think I layered like four of those with different, like it was like a left and right. And then I changed the amp settings and did another left and right. Um, and then those actually, I played the bass um, in the same, I, I think the bass was unison with those. So it's five, effectively six, because the bass has a, a cabinet sound and a DI. It's six tracks of that line of. And when I sent it off to mix, Neil Avron like did this cr cool like like stereo chorus like wide low thing, and he kind of chopped out a lot of the high end material on it, which I just I thought it sounded so cool. Um, so that was like part of the meat of the song. Um, one thing to like pay attention to with this song is I'm gonna play here. I'll play the song for you. Actually, maybe we should just go to the guitar tracks real quick. Um, check this out real quick here. So, like I was saying, the there's a lot of guitar tracks on this song. So somebody's like, "Hey, can I? You know, can you teach us how to play the song?" Um, here are some of the here's some of the the stuff that's in this thing. Oh, I think I put a bit crusher on it after all of that too. Either that or I used a different amp setting. And this is also in there. Playing the same thing, by the way. So then there's these octaves on top of it all. Four tracks of those. And that all together sounds like uh, this. That's with bass as well. So in this particular song, like lots of layers, lots of layers of guitar. I think um, you could play, if you wanted to, if you wanna um, learn to play this song, I'm not gonna do a huge like t tutorial on this um, because I don't, I mean, I, I don't know if, do you guys want me to go through the whole thing? Or is this like, is this boring? I don't know, for like people that, that I'm not, by the way, I, like you guys know, if you know me, I'm not the world's best guitar player. I'm self-taught. I like from friends and YouTube. That's it. And for me, guitar is a fun instrument. It's functional. I think it's like a second language to me. Like I think in piano and then I apply it to guitar. I'm not super, I don't have the dexterity. I don't know my way around all my scales. It's just like, I know the shapes and where when I'm in, like, if I, if my root position is this, is here, then I know where to go from there. Um, so that is to say that you can do this. Like, this is not expert level. This is a very, if you're learning guitar, this is actually a very easy one to learn. Um, the only thing about this song, though, the tricky part, is that the, the guitar changes a lot all the way down the song. So the very beginning is, is um, this part is the only time in the whole song, I feel like I should get on like a stool or something so you can actually see. Um, it starts with. And basically it is a harmonic there. You are in standard tuning, standard drop D tuning. So that is to say, normal standard tuning and you take your low string and drop it down from an E to a D. You drop it down a whole step um, from here to, right? Um, so then when you do that, a lot of, old, lot of older Linkin Park songs are written in this tuning. Because when you do that, you can, um, when you play the first three strings open, it's a power chord and you can just, 
work your way down the it you play these chords uh you can move around on these chords very quickly um and that's how you get the ability to do some of the riffs um lincoln park riffs um so i was just in that tuning and um and the verse is basically the guitar doesn't play in the first verse but the verse is just That's the verse. And then the pre-chorus, this is verse and guitar, but uh, uh, I guess you could play guitar and bass is what I meant. Bass, the bass line will be. That's the verse. I don't know if you can see me. What are we at? Seventh fret. I should get on a stool. Hang on, then, right? Then you can actually see my hands. I think is my head my head's gonna be like out of the out of the frame though, isn't it? That's okay. You don't care about that. You don't care about my head being in the frame. I guess I'm kind of in the frame, huh? Um yeah, so move this thing. I, there we go. Now you can kind of see it, right? You can't hear me, but whatever. Um so yeah, so we're we're going bass would be and then pre choruses. If that is assuming you've tuned your bass to uh, drop D as well, which is the only way you'll get to this. And then the chorus is, sorry. Very simple. Um, second verse, same as the first. Second pre-chorus, same as the first, except as you go into the chorus, you're gonna mute with your right hand and get it and do a little Lincoln Park before you get into the chorus, so. Oh, question from Spenu, all just one string, question mark, no chords. So the song has three guitars playing different things really in it. I think there's there's power chord ones. So on the chorus, for example, you've got and you've got okay, and you've got this guy. So this is an octave guitar. Let me see if I can play it over top of this. Okay. So over top of that, you've got an octave guitar. It actually picks up in the pre-chorus and the, and the octave guitar, the second guitar goes, oh, the part is octaves on Pretty much the whole thing is on your second and fourth string, you're holding um, two frets apart wherever you're playing a note. You see how my fingers are staying the same distance apart on the second and fourth string. But the very first note you play is actually an open uh, second string and seventh fret on the third string, okay? So that way you can go. So here, I'll play along. Uh, maybe I'll take out, so maybe we won't get hit with the, won't get muted by Twitch if I take out the vocals. I don't know, we'll see. Let's find out. Oh, 
Oh, I can hear like a like a vocal reverb in there somewhere. Let's see if I can remove that, and then we'll play. Yeah, I think it's this tape I got. Sorry, let me just, I'll show you what I'm doing. So I'm got a dra I'm just dragging all these vocal tracks to, to put them together. But there's a lot of, I mean, there's a lot of, of uh, guitar tracks in this thing. Um, all right, so. Here's, a, here's that part. the point. I'm going to do it one more time for you. Um, you're up on the 7th fret as your starting note. I, I count that as the 2nd string 7th fret. Stopping here. This is where the guitar solo goes. My solo on this song, again, very simple. You, you can totally play this. The trick though, is that you do need an octave. If you want it to sound like that, like the song, you're gonna need an octave pedal. So that was that same one that I played on the low part that sounded like this. You're gonna need that. For, for the solo. You hear it? Okay, it's been a minute. Um, but that's the, that's the vibe. Hold on, I think it's the wrong sound here. Let's, uh, but I'll play through that real quick just so you can hear it. Maybe I should turn it up a tiny bit just so you can really hear my mistakes and know that I'm actually playing this poorly. All right, so where were we? We were in this part of the song. Very quiet. Hold on. I think I might be clipping this. Ah, okay. So you're starting on seven. I'm not going to walk you through the whole thing. You can figure it out. I'm sliding a, a, around a lot on these a lot. I'm realizing I don't. I don't even. I don't even remember when I wrote it. I don't even remember kind of like what the fing, finger positions. Now I'm clipping. Um, underneath the vocal, in this next part, it goes back to the pre-chorus. After that part. Yeah, it, it kind of follows that other octave thing, which is. There it is. All right, so th that's how you would come out of that solo back into the other part. And then the ending is like, 
the ending is basically the same as the uh, rest of the song. The only, there's one difference, I think. Um, the chorus loops back on itself. So that is to say, if I play the bass version, since I'm on that setting, uh, you're going... And here's where the new thing shows up. Okay, so it's five on the second string, three, and then three, and then five. Um, and that's the little turnaround there. Um, get some little extenders and uh, different things at the end of the song that kind of go along with the vocal. I will say this, putting, putting the guitar part down for a minute. Um, Writing a song like this, if you if you listen to it, it's like it's not that complicated a song, but the parts and the way that they like fall together, and the um, the lengths of the parts, and the fact that some parts extend and some parts, um, you know, like some parts change, some parts extend. The, the the guitar in the intro of the song, for example, it's the only time in the whole song that actually happens. And those types of decisions were things that I, I didn't do like a long time ago. I didn't, I didn't think to do them. Like they, I was just making a track and singing over the track. But the second you really start to like write a song with an instrument and don't worry about recording it, you write it, you're focus, focusing more on writing it and then focus on the sounds and whatever kind of like is a more integrated process. That's where I think I've learned to make better decisions about the, um, about the structure of the song and how the melodies flow and everything. Um, they're subtle things. They don't, they, they're not going to like wow and impress the average listener, but when you look at it, when somebody says, oh, like, I feel like this is a really well-crafted song. Those are things that when I say that about something, it's usually those subtleties that I love um, in other people's music. Um, cool. Was that fun? I feel like, is there, are, do you have any other questions about this track or the guitar or whatever um, that uh, I can answer before we jump? We're going to talk about um, the game next. We're going to talk about survival. Um, let's see. Chris Dancer wants to know how my family feels about the new phase in the song. They're terrified. They're so, they're so scared. They're terrified of me. I mean, like a, there's like a lot of like, there's not a lot. There's a little bit of like horror imagery in the stuff that, that I'm doing right now that, they actually love it. Um, let's see. How long did it take you to write Sahina 91? How long did it take you to write the track? Um, if I add it all up, I mean, probably a couple, I imagine like a couple weeks. Um, but there was, there were like not, I didn't just work on just that song. Um, the whole time like you know it'd be like a couple days here and then i'd be doing other things and then i'd come back to it and work on it a day and da 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 spenu wants to know where were there synths in the song there are synths in the song um for example in the pre-chorus there's a great little synth i think it's great um this guy here <laughs> Other than that, like the 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 non-organic instruments are mostly pads and like tones. Um, I don't know if I can find. I don't know if I can find them right now. Like there's some little like these types of things. Oh, that's a feedback one. Oh, there's this little sample sound. This guy. That's in there. Um, something here, but I don't know what. 
The end of the song has a string bit. That's right, it's just this. Just that over the ending. Um, and I think there was one more sound, but I can't find it right now. This is a vocal. Yeah, it's just a reverb situation. Um, anyway, yeah. So that's a, that's happening. Um, what about the drums? I just tell people I'm, I'm f like, I'm not a good drummer. I'm learning how to play drums. I'm good enough. I'm, I'm, I'm really good at editing drums. So I can play the drums poorly and then make them sound good. Um, which is what happened on like this track on, on the Demi Lovato song that I did. Like I, I, I can make them sound good. Um, I don't think I'm ready to like jump on the drums in the live set. I, don't th I think that'd be a bad idea. Um, I've been seeing features. I've been seeing duets on TikTok. I've been seeing people doing covers um, on both Instagram and TikTok and, and, and elsewhere. Um, that's amazing. Thank you guys for that. I am like, that is so cool. Let, let me see. I'm just trying to see if I'm, I, I know that some of you asked good questions and I just missed the questions. AI version, I I mean, I guess, I don't, yeah, the AI thing, I'm gonna, that's a whole other conversation. Um, do I still have the Hello Kitty guitar? Yeah, somewhere. So, um, let's talk about something different. Let me show you, I wanna show you um, this game which I'm pretty sure, hold on, I've got my like, um, my, um, setup is different now. Like my, my one, one of my screens is like way over here. Um, so I'm like struggling a little bit. Um, let me just figure out if I can, get into this I have to like log in so give me one second my ne my neck is gonna hate me my neck is actually very happy that I did this because first of all um I was like having this other the, this other I had the other screen like right here and I it was like in the way of some of my other gear so I decided to, to move it and get it get it out of the way um, give me one sec. I'm just going to, I'm just going to go offline for one or just turn this off for one second while I, um, log in with this thing here. So if you go to, um, survival with a one, um, hold on, I'll show you. Give me one sec. I'll be right back in 60 seconds. Wait, I can't do that, can I? I have to give you, I have to give you Twitch appropriate um, music. Here you I figured it out. I figured it out. Well, there was nothing to figure out. There was just me logging in. Um, so check this shit out, ladies and gentlemen. This is our game. It's s u r v one v a l dot com. That's survival with a one dot com. You can go and check out 
Um, check this shit out. So this is a game that we decided to make. Um, I had this idea for to do something that was that you normally would only do for like an album release. Like I know that a lot of people, um, a lot of people will, you know, do this type of thing for a, an album release, but we did, we did it for this song because basically here's the deal. Um, it starts as a grow your own creature game. So Here's where your creature, what my creature currently looks like. And the creature will evolve. And then after a certain point of time, we will um, we will enable battling. Um, so if you go down here and click on battle, 16 days and 23 hours from now, 20 almost 24 hours, we're gonna we're gonna turn on battling. And then um then you guys will get to like basically test out your your creatures and you'll be earning points from battling but in the current phase you're earning points by feeding your creature to grow it um what are the points worth why are we doing points because oh sorry this is the leaderboard of who's who's winning right now what are the points for the points are for is it an info or faq top Top point getter will win a physical art piece, meaning a painting, a physical painting from me. Uh, top two will win digital artwork that you can um, call out a prompt. So basically, you're going to tell me what to make. I will make it, and you'll get that digital art, um, and it'll be partially your design. Top three, you're going to get signed seven-inch vinyl, and then top 25 are going to get signed lyrics. Um, and then everyone who plays is going to get a digital collectible of their critter and they're going to be one of one unique. So, uh, you know, if, if you're, if you're into NFTs, it could be an NFT. If, if it's not, then it's not, I don't, you know, I, at least I think we're going to do it that way. If you don't want that, then we don't do that. Um, most important thing though, is that if you go on right now, go to S U R V one V A L.com. You can start your start your um, campaign and grow your critter and enjoy the little story that comes with it. Um, Mr. Ellis wants to know if you can win a high five. You can win a high five. I don't know how I would deliver that. Maybe you can win a high five from somebody else who's playing. Um, by the way, once you get your critter, the thing to do is feed it and share. Um, and by feeding it, you're going to listen to the song. You're going to watch the video. You're going to follow. You're going to create playlists. And oh, last thing. Last thing. TikTok sound. This is a global reward. So the official sound on TikTok, like if you go to my page on TikTok, you'll see me using the sound. The, the official sound is one minute long, it's the song. And for everybody, when people start using this, I mean, people are using the sound. As you use the sound, as that number goes up, currently it's at, let's take a look. Currently it's been used, let's take a look, 768 times. So that is 35.3% of the way there. It needs to be, what is that, 1,500? Or is that more? I don't know what that number is. Did I say 700 something? So that would be 20, 2,000. 2,000, I guess. So once we get to that, oh, but it's the weekly. I guess we have to get there. Do we have to get there by the end of the week? I'm not in the loop on that part. The point is, as people use it, once you get to that point, um, everybody who is playing gets a reward. Um, till Thursday, Garby, thank you. So yeah, Mr. Ells wants to know, is this your brainchild? I, I had, there are parts of it that were mine, there are parts of it that, are, that were um, invented by the team at Warner Records, parts of it by our um, technical development partner from Hi-Fi Labs, uh, from, of Hi-Fi Labs, um, and, 
you know, Lincoln Park management and so on. So we all kind of chipped in and, um, and helped make this thing. Um, I of course helped with the art and, um, the, uh, some of the concepts about how to, how it should grow. And I was, a, I was, I was like adamant about it being a battle mode at some point. Um, Donis wants to know, what's your next song? What will your next song sound like? Okay. So right now I'm, I'm, I'm supporting already over. So there's that like first and first and foremost already over is, is the focus. Um, beyond that though, once we get like to a certain point, I'm not, this isn't moving towards like a, an album per, like in the immediate future. I'm planning on releasing like tracks and I'm planning on releasing games and I'm planning on releasing art and other stuff. So it's just kind of a um, ongoing process. Just enjoy the process, hang with me, and I'm gonna keep making stuff for you guys to enjoy. Um, what else do we got? Choose your words carefully. We will speculate at every point. I expect that. Please enjoy speculating at every point. <laughs> Am I gonna stream more often? I mean, more often than I did in the last um, five months. <laughs> I see a tour in the future. At some point, there will be a tour. Uh, don't have one plan right now. Speculation is your theme song. I agree. That that is that is a true statement. You got to trust the process. Do I have like? Can I like give some shout outs? I haven't given any shouts lately. And hit the button. Boom. All right, there we go. Get some shouts. Who do we got? We got Saka Drish. Saka Tash. Resub. What's up? Robbie G. Silent Storm. Tough Taco. Plotsy89. Dampney. Tara Mac. Dr. Gibb. Harleen Quinn. 82. Cpexanel, all are here partying with us. Thank you, guys. You are now vibing with my Chinoda. My Chinoda. Thanks for the song. Thank you guys for that. Um, which software, Mike? Which software are you using? Um, for music, I'm using Pro Tools and Ableton usually. For streaming, I'm using um, Streamlabs. You are vibing with me, guys. Mike, she nodded. Where's my little, where's my little volume button here? Mike, she, Mike, she, Mike, she nodded. Look at that. Now that I move the camera down here, my hand looks so big when I go to the sampler. Shit. All right. Um, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for joining. Um, again, stream already over go watch watch it on youtube give drop a comment thumbs up likes all those good things share it with your friends um yeah it's like you know no beat saber oh man i'm sorry i hope i thought you thought we were going to do some beat saber today if you do play beat saber make sure to download that new expansion pack we've got my songs I think Fort Minor, remembering the name is in there, and then Lincoln Park songs. Um, it's under Mike Shinoda Lincoln Park. If you if you search it's expansion packs and Beat Saber, you can get that. It's brand new um, for Beat Saber. Um, I will show you. you Want to see something? Hold on. Check this shit. Oh, where the fuck is it? Ah oh, man, it's in the other room. Um, I did get one of the new Oculus headsets. And I will tell you that it's great. It's awesome. Um, the, the, 
on the last one, on the Oculus 2, it was a black and white kind of kind of questionable pass through so that like when you had the goggles on, you could see in your room a little bit, but like not so good. And the new one has, it's much clearer. It's about the same, feels like about the same weight on your head, much clearer and color pass through higher fidelity. And you can do like augmented reality, mixed reality games. Um, I think a lot of those are coming out. Uh, more of those games are coming out in the next few months, up leading up to Christmas, of course, and um, rather the holidays. Um, yeah, leading up to December, they're they're releasing more games like that. Um, pretty fun. So that's my that's my review. Um, having had the new Oculus headset for about I think a week. Um, week and a half um appreciate all the love on the streams thank you for that thank you for the love on already over um and on survival if you haven't checked it out go to survival.com and get yourself a little account start start feeding your critter because we're gonna get basically the the short of it is you get your critter like a you know tamagotchi or whatever you feed it you pay pay attention to it and then eventually it will grow into a, a character that is battle ready and then we'll do some battle mode um just to manage your expectation this is not a as you can probably see this is not a triple a game studio we're not gonna have like full-on like even side scrolling like battle mode it's going to be text based battle mode very simple battle mode um but hopefully it'll look cool and feel good and you'll have some fun um yeah i don't want it's not going to be some very deep thing it is going to be fun though it'll be fun mike shinoda game studios yeah that'd be that'd be that'd be a dream all right, you guys. Thanks for putting survival.com in the chat. Um, and I'm out of here. What do we have? What else do we have coming up? Am I missing some? I feel like I'm missing something. Management's gonna hit me up like right after I get off the stream and be like, yo, you forgot to mention this. Dumbass. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Hit, come, come. Come join us, join me on the on on TikTok and on the Discord, and you'll probably see me. I'll probably post something about have whatever I forget. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you guys very much. Appreciate you as always. I'll try not to be a stranger. See you guys.